What's going on, guys? How you doing? This is Kendrick, the sports guy with TSG Sports Media with the kickoff of the NFL season tonight, and we have the Dallas Cowboys visiting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But before we get to that, if you could click like and subscribe to TFG Sports Media. Well, we all have been waiting for this NFL season opener. Thursday night football, Dallas Cowboys visiting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Had a bunch of questions coming into this game. The Cowboys was going to be without their right guard, uh, Zach Martin, due to COVID. He was not, he didn't make the trip. Uh, that means Connor McGovern was going to have to uh, play. They had to make some changes on the offensive line. And this game actually ended up being a lot closer than I expected. The Buccaneers did win 31 to 29 on the last second field goal. Um, I think the other question mark, we was wondering what was that, uh, Dak Prescott going to look like? Well, Dak looked actually really good. You would have never thought that he had some sort, he had broke his ankle. Uh, he came out and he was lighting it up. The Dallas offense looked pretty good. Their run game still needs some work, but far as they, their, their offensive scheme, Kellen Moore called a great game. Uh, Dak Prescott, just to read off some numbers, he was 42 of 58 for 403 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. Amari Cooper came out and played a hell of a game. He had 13 uh, catches for 139 yards and two touchdowns. And CeeDee Lamb had seven catches for 104 yards and one touchdown. Uh, Greg Zerline, he, he missed some, some big kicks. Um, if he would have made a couple of those, Cowboys would have won this game. So uh, they did say Zerline had some back surgery over the offseason. Um, but he did hit a really important one to put them up by uh, one, but unfortunately the Cowboys defense wasn't able to hold Tampa Bay from scoring. Now, let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys defense. They actually played pretty well, as uh, I would say, too. Um, their run defense looked a whole lot better. Uh, defensive coordinator Dan Quinn had a pretty good scheme. They, uh, the, the Buccaneers held them to less than 100 yards uh, rushing. So, and they created four turnovers. So Dan Quinn has kind of changed this Dallas Cowboys defense and they look pretty good. Now let's talk about Tampa Bay real quick. As usual, Tom Brady came out and did his thing. He had, uh, his stats was 32 attempt, uh, 32 completions, 50 attempts for 379 yards. He had four touchdowns and two interceptions. Uh, Antonio Brown had five receptions for 121 yards and one touchdown. Uh, Chris Godwin had nine receptions for 105 yards and one touchdown. And Rob Gronkowski had eight catches for 90 yards and two touchdowns. And the, the, the Buccaneers had four turnovers. The Cowboys did create some turnovers. So, uh, overall, I thought this was a pretty good game. I think the Cowboys uh, probably surprised a lot of people. Uh, they had the Buccaneers winning this game. Uh, Vegas, I think the line was eight points. And uh, the Cowboys actually covered that. So, uh, I would say Cowboys look pretty good offensively, defensively. They look pretty good as well. Uh, I do think they need to uh, balance that run uh, pass offense a little bit more. I think Kellen Moore did call a pretty good game. As far as the Super Bowl champs, um, they look a little vulnerable on the defensive side of the ball. I don't know. Um, but it's only one game. You got, you know, 16 more of these games to go. So we're going to see what happens. Now the Cowboys are back in action on the 19th. They go to the Los Angeles Chargers. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are back in action on the 19th as well. And I believe they host the uh, Atlanta Falcons. So there you have it. NFL is back. This has been your sports guy, Kendrick. Leave a comment. What, tell me what you think about tonight's game. And tell me who's your team and what is your expectations for this season. Again, don't forget to subscribe to TFG Sports Media. Again, this has been your sports guy, Kendrick, with TFG Sports Media. And until next time, peace.